My friend, you really look good, I thank God for you. My dear, I'm so happy I'm living the life I have always dreamt of as a child. I have a very wealthy husband, a beautiful mansion, fleet of cars, four beautiful kids and everything I can dream of. I am the luckiest woman on earth. Meanwhile I have been meaning to ask you, why are you always looking so unkept and malnourished? Don't you feed well? Look at your clothes and hair. You are really suffering. I can't live in that kind of house you're living, it's trash. My friend, what can I do? It is well. I'm very sure that my future will be better. I know that things are not going well now but with time everything shall be fine. The Lord shall supply all my needs according to His riches in glory. The most important thing is that I have a happy home. You don't even have a child yet. Are you sure your husband is not impotent? Why not leave him and look for a wealthy man to take very good care of you? Don't you want to be like me? I can never leave my husband, he is a good man and I love him so much. We're waiting on God for our own children and I'm sure very soon our miracle will come. I am fine, don't bother about me. I need to go now. Take care bye. My friend it is obvious that you love suffering. That's your business. Continue. I have to go now. I need to stop by the saloon and do my hair. Okay bye. I have never been humiliated like this before in my life, but everything she said is true I am suffering, I have no child. Why is my life like this? God I have always trusted in you and abide by your words, I have never ever tried to look the wrong way no matter how tough things get. Please come and change this ugly situation of mine. Don't let the world mock me and ask me where is my God. Honey how was your meeting with your friend today? Yes honey, our meeting went well. Christy is really doing well and I am so happy for her. My dear, I understand that it has not been easy for us ever since we got married and I know that it really hurts you. I feel bad that I'm not able to provide the things you need. But I want you to know that I'll keep trying and I know that one day our situation will change for good. Please keep holding on don't lose hope. When things get better, I will shower you with all the beautiful things you deserve and even more. You don't have to bother, I'm not complaining. I know how hard you're trying to make ends meet. Me I appreciate your efforts. We shall keep trusting in the Lord. He never fails. Hey. Long time. Good to meet you here. How are you? What brings you here? I'm good Gina. Well my husband and I are in this hotel for a small vacation. We got bored of staying at home and felt like changing environment so we decided to come in and spend a few days away from home. That is how rich people do. And you? What are you doing here? Oh that's so cool. You're really having the time of your life. I really wish I am in your shoes. I am really going through so much stress yet nothing gets better. I am tired of this life. I just got a job in this hotel as a cleaner last week. The job is really stressful and the pay is barely enough to take care of our needs. I wish I had a better life just like you do. I already told you a year ago that you should leave that life of misery you're living. Divorce your husband he's not good for you. He's not man enough. Look at you. You look a mess. Leave your husband and you'll meet a rich man who will take good care of you. After all you don't even have a child yet. How am I going to meet a rich man? Look at me, I look like a 70 years old woman. Which rich man will look my way? I'm just too tired. My friend don't worry, I will help you. I will introduce you to my husband's rich friend. He has so much money. In fact he's the owner of this hotel. He will take good care of you. Just call me when you're ready. Bye. 
Honey I noticed that you have been so sad since you got back home from work. Hope all is well. Did anyone offend you at work? Are you feeling pains anywhere? Should I massage you? Francis I don't need a massage. What I need right now is a good life. I am sick and tired of this kind of life we are living. I'm tired of living in poverty. Look at other women out there, they are living their dream. Their husbands buys them beautiful dresses and jewelry on a regular basis. Look at my friend Christy. She is living like a queen, drives different cars and lives in a mansion. But look at me, ever since we got married I have never gotten a single gift from you. It's been from one excuse to another. We don't even have kids. The doctor said I am okay, it's obvious the problem is you. I am tired already. I can't handle this anymore. I'm fed up. Honey what are you saying? When did you start losing your trust in God? Don't you believe in what God can do? Why are you talking like an unbeliever? Where is all these coming from? Honey we have to keep trusting God. I know that one day our situation will change. And you'll enjoy so much luxury. Your situation not mine. I have been waiting on God for years now and up till now nothing to show for it. I am done. I'm leaving you for good. Please my dear, don't lose faith, don't leave me. We can scale through together. I need you in my life. I will be devastated without you in my life. I really do not care anymore. I'm leaving this house in poverty. Goodbye. Oh God. I can't believe this is happening right now. My wife has left me because of my situation. My friends have deserted me a long time ago. I have no one else by me except you. Please do not forsake me. Do not let the work ask me of my God. I can never stop trusting you no matter what the situation may be. I believe you have better plans for my future and I'll stick with you. Take the lead O oh Lord. Make every crooked way straight. Open doors of favor and breakthrough for me. So that the world will know that I serve a living God. I trust you Lord. Girl I am proud of you for taking the bold step of walking out of poverty. It's all green over here. Welcome to a whole new world of luxury. I'm grateful to you for opening my eyes and letting me see that I have been a fool all these years. My friend so when are you going to introduce me to the rich man you talked about? I already told him about you. We have to meet him at the restaurant down the street at 6 p.m. A table has been reserved for you both. Oh wow. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for your help. You don't have to thank me, what are friends for? You must be Steve I guess. And you are Gina right? Come on have a seat. You look just as pretty as your friend described you. I am pleased to meet you. Thanks for the compliment. You look good too. At the sight of you, I have already fallen in love with you. You are my spec. Be my woman and I will spoil you silly. You don't need to worry about anything money can buy. Just name it. I like you too. And I will be your woman as long as you promise to take good care of me. So for a start, send me your bank account details so I can send you some money for your shopping. Are you kidding me? Wow. Thank you so much. Hello my friend. You won't believe what happened today. I am so excited. Thank you so much for hooking me up with Steve. My life has just gotten better. You sound so excited. What is this about? Steve sent me two millionaire for shopping. And he has asked me to move into his mansion with him. Wow. I told you. This is just the beginning. Get ready for more goodies. If you were still with that your broke ex-husband, you won't have gotten such amount of money till the world ends. You owe me one. 
Welcome to the, the Life of Luxury. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a big thumbs up, share and comment your opinions. Stay tuned for the next episode.